Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. What's up everyone and welcome to the final nine here at the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour Tali. This coverage is brought to you by Natural Born Disc Golf. Thank you guys for sharing this coverage with us here at Gatekeeper Media. My name is Mitch Phillips and joining me is Hayden Ricard, my co-host of the Parked Podcast. We've made it. Final nine holes, man. Let's yeah, get into it. It's been great, man. It's been fun to watch this course and how brutal it can be, but also how rewarding it can be. Yeah, this course is so specific as we saw, you know, round after round now, but coming into these final nine holes, it's pretty tight at the top. We got a two-stroke lead for Jonas right now, but a lot of holes left. Um, he's a lot of players heating up. We saw Vile drop a good amount of strokes in that front nine, hoping to see him continue um, coming back up the ladder and maybe to finish on the podium here. But let's jump into hole 10, par four. 584 feet this one you're really going to get a chance to finally attack and finally release an entire drive but you do need to finish left as the approach is a little bit easier there on the left side and the green again being guarded by some out of bounds some trees on the back side but definitely players expecting to get birdie here yeah it's definitely a birdie that you want Vile, same play as before, going that Halo Destroyer. I think he's going to want to land in the same spot. A little bit short of where he was last time, but great area to land in and have an approach to the basket. Mm -hmm. Jonas looking to follow suit, maybe a little bit more height. It's going a little bit more left than I think he wants it, but came up short with the height. Mm-hmm. You actually may nothing, have a straight gap, yeah. It's really not nothing wrong with that, I don't think. No, I think you'll have more of a straight shot through the approach. Mm -hmm. Here's Vino Makala taking his time. Yep. A little bit more of a flip up to get the max distance. And, and he has made it into the tree line. Hey, I did ask for it, didn't I? Yeah, last round. We were wanting it. <laughs> Niklas Antala. Using the entire fairway there from that left to right movement. Hey, some great throws there. And I, I actually love watching Vinyl throw that because he was so confident in the way he released. Mm -hmm. It was great to see. Yep, here's the straight shot here from Jonas. Should be up and down very easily. Yep, it's a touchy upshot to be able to control that speed, mm -hmm. but still knowing that it's not going to... You're not going to put not enough into it where it's going to fade out early. Great show of touch there from Jonas Alto. This looks great too. Mm -hmm. Yep, a little tap in. Make up for that seven that he had. Nicholas with the first difficult approach here. Kind of some trees in the way going to a forehand. I think this has been his round today. Yeah, he's just been a tiny bit off the fairway. I mean, still making a charge for sure, but... The way that he's coped with these really odd stances. I mean, he had, what, seven or eight patent-pending stances on the front nine? And he might have another one after hitting another early tree. Mm -hmm. Vino not in the easiest spot either. Getting touched by the tree a bit. But just smooth as ever. Should be up and down for him. Niklas going to another forehand this time, actually correcting, getting up to the basket. He'll be the lone par putt here on hole 10. Rare miss there from Vino. Yeah, he's frustrated, you can mm -hmm. tell, in his body movement. It's definitely one you want to get. Mm-hmm. Jonas tapping in the birdie there. The yeah, par here is not what you want with the simplicity of this hole. It just comes down to the upshot, but if you just place yourself in a good spot, unfortunately some of our players are not able to find it. Hoping to correct here on hole 11, par 3, 361 feet. 
This one has some teeth all over the place. You know, if you're short of it, you're gonna find the hazard, but if you're long, you're gonna find the OB. A lot of players are gonna go maybe more of a higher route, try to spike in, control that speed coming into the green, or they're gonna go to a mid range. I think so. I Honestly, I'm fine with the hazard there. I like it because, I mean, obviously you're still going to be putting for par, but yeah, you're going to see mid-ranges, maybe a spike hazard, but I mean, it's in the range of throwing putters and mid-ranges. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't throw a putter 361 feet, but speak for yourself, Hayden. <laughs> Occasionally, I throw a putter 360 feet. Occasionally. As Vile finds the green flag. That's really all you're wanting here. If you can get a green flag inside the circle, you're going to walk away with a smile on your face. Yeah. I think this one throws a little bit of nerves into it because you know you can do it. It's not that far of a distance, but... It's right there in front of it's, you. It's, I think it's also deceiving us in distance, too. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. because It's a little bit up to down and height-wise. And this is going to be I the mistake, trying to throw a hyzer flip. That might putting be... a little bit too much on it. Too long. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's the unfortunate part about going long in OB. You don't get to go back into where you're, like, throw at. If you're in the mm -hmm. hazard, you're in the hazard and you get to putt. Right. And that hazard is inside the circle as mm -hmm. we see Vino go for that, I believe that glow PA3 here. Just don't turn too much. I think that's perfect. It has the height to get over it. Yep, that is great control there from Vino Makala. I feel like this, I don't know, I would almost play this like you would the Maple Hill hole. With Which water one? and you're trying to go over. Oh, the, yeah. I would almost mm -hmm. imagine that as water. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just enough. Oh. He, I think he skipped off, he the, did. off the sand and into the green. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I would do if I played this. Yeah, oh, there is a drop that. zone. Okay, we haven't seen anyone go out of bounds on the back okay. side yet, so there well, is a drop zone here. Not a very kind drop zone. I would, I'm a big fan of drop zones that give you a chance to putt. No. He's still safe, though, yeah, because he's still touching? It's still safe and hazard. You can see him giggle it a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of a drop zone where you get a chance to save par on a whole mm -hmm. this distance. Maybe put him outside of the hazard. Oh, corner and you can see him do the same thing I did. <laughs> of, oh, oh, okay. There's Neek less to get his birdie. Yep. Good stroke. see the wind picking up just a mm -hmm. little bit good putt it's unfortunate bogey but I mean he could have gotten off worse mm -hmm. great birdie there from three of our players unfortunate for Jonas our leader at the moment to drop two there to the whole card and Vile going for two for two mm -hmm. he's done that a lot yeah he gets pretty Starting streaky off. for sure Moving on to hole 12, par 3, 367 feet. It's a big hyzer. You see all these guys try to go over the top and get as far as they can. Got to watch the OB behind, and also the distance to get over the top is very crucial. Yeah, you mentioned the OB behind. We've seen a lot of players go a little bit too long or maybe have their spike hyzer stand up a little bit. You can see it's a little bit more breezy today. You can see maybe these are either going to carry long or they're going to be pushed down. It's hard to tell I which. really don't think there's a shot to go low and under. Mm-mm. That's OB. Looks to be out of bounds. It's, yep. And that's a mistake. You're going to carry a little bit too far and not give it enough height to kind of stall I out. Think it, really is, it really is the epitome of a stall hyzer. Pretty much. And if the wind's not letting you do it, it's not going to let you do it. Mm -hmm. I think he goes low. Yeah. A little bit lower, yeah. Oh, that tree actually might have helped him a lot. I think it did. Yep. Got another tombstone. Land shark, bro. It's a land shark. I call it tombstone. You can call it <laughs> land shark. Nicholas loving that left to right movement with most of his shot shapes. So, see what he does here. I think he he does have the skill to go over the top. Yeah, but it's definitely not his favorite shot to throw. That looks perfect. Oh yep. yeah. I just outside the circle there. I think you see Jonas following suit. As you asked earlier, I mean, is there really even a chance to get to the green if you go low? I don't. I really don't know if there is. Oh, 
It's Jonas. That is amazing. Yeah, we've not really seen any players get to there. They're going to saw it off and be behind those trees. But to get long there, I mean, that's nearly a 400-foot spike heiser. You know how much torque it takes to actually go over those trees and the distance? A lot. To get the height. With the I don't even think I have play. it. No, you definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the confidence. No. It's par putt. I think that had bid. a chance. A little bit longer of a comebacker than you'd like to see, I'm sure. I probably would have laid up there and just take the bogey. A little bit of an odd release there from Vino. He does have an interesting putt where he doesn't necessarily square his hip, his hip, bleh, square his hips up to the basket as most people again? do. Square his hips. <laughs> he doesn't one. hit so there is a chance there with that putting style you're going to kind of have that more left to right movement but it's rare to see him pull it a little bit mm. just left there for Nicholas he's been hot and cold with his putting but I think he's a really great putter Yeah, one of the rare, not full spin putters that we've seen so far here at the Prodigy Pro Tour. That's a good stroke. Great birdie there to make up for the strokes lost on the last hole. Go to the Coti Pizza slow mo here for Yunus Aldo. Yeah, he is a, kind of a straddle putter, but he does have switch to the weight shift still. Great stroke there. I think that's a common putting style. Great putt from Vile. For the bogey, it's unfortunate, but a great comeback putt. Sneak last to save par. The one spot these baskets really don't like is that high left. Those chains are very, very firm. I don't firm even think it was top. that high, though. I think he just hit the right angle on that mm -hmm. basket and just was like, nope, not today. Yeah, you hate to see it, but it does happen to a lot of people, and it's it's, just, it's unfortunate, but it all evens out in the end, I've realized, with those kind of putts. Yep. You'll get it back. Move on to hole 13 here. Absolutely picturesque. Par 3, 417 feet. Very similar shot to what the players just played, but it is more of a downhill. You're able to throw more of a flat shot with an overstable disc. Uh, definitely one these players want to and need to get down the stretch here on this final nine holes. We'll see if the wind comes into play here as it definitely showed its teeth in the last hole. Tina off first here is Jonas Alto. Really, most players, I would assume, are even throwing the same disc from last hole. Yep. It's pretty much almost Perfect. the same angle. You're just not using as much torque because you're not going over trees. Yeah, and Jonas absolutely parks it. And if you park a hole in your casual rounds or your tournament rounds, be sure to tag us on Instagram at Parked Podcast. We'd love to share it and see what holes you're parking out there. That turned out of his hand just a little bit too much. You might have the height to get back. Oh, he's going to have highlight reel putt from the yeah. upper level. That's a good 80, 80 feet. Yeah, if not more. We did see uh, Jesse Nieminen go with a forehand here on the left side, which is, and he absolutely parked it as well. Vino thinks this one's great, and so do I. Yeah, distance was perfect there. Maybe the wind shifted just a little bit more than he expected. Waiting for it to calm down. Mm -hmm. A little more of an inside route. It's going to be short left, I think. Yeah, just yeah. a bit. Have a tester for his par. Yeah, two pretty simple birdies here and two par testers. Or testers for birdie, sorry. Nicholas on to left from distance here. Ooh. Yeah, you see that wind really starting to show here. 
and headwind from outside the circle. Yeah, and this hole's just playing just under par at 2.94, so barely under. Good comeback there for the par for Nicholas. Yeah, shifting wind when you're putting is not fun, and it's definitely a challenge. But if you can switch, I mean, a lot of these players are more like a in-between spin putt and push putt. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of full push putt players, but that spin putt does really well in the wind. Mm -hmm. It's able to cut through the dynamics of it. Yeah, I believe we missed the upshot there from Vile, but he does tap in the par. Oh, Ooh, giving it everything he had there <laughs> is Jonas. Finding the birdie, taking himself to minus six on the round. Here's Vino to tie. Sorry, to tie to go to minus 16. Tie on the hole. Very confident putt there from Vino. Got a little scared there if it was going to come bounce back out at him. But moving on to hole 14, par 3, 456. This one is definitely at max distance and you want to get max flight out of this it's going to be a full turnover shot and then lay back up into the green a little pr bit protected but you also got to worry about the ob behind it if you go too long yeah it's max distance but it's a controlled max distance throw Very you controlled. do have ob on the left and right we see a lot of players put a little bit too much behind it and maybe find that the larger bush slash tree there on the right we'll see how the uh, these players stand up to it as that wind is starting to swirl in You see the air bounce there, giving mm -hmm. it a little bit of push to the right. Nothing wrong with that, just outside yeah. circle. Yeah, probably mid-circle too there. Mm -hmm. But to have a look at this one is, is phenomenal. But yeah, to get 456 feet flat ground, it's not an easy task. These are some of the best players on this tour, making the lead card here in the first stop. But to get 456 feet flat ground is no easy task. This looks fantastic if you can miss those trees. Vino Makala going long. I, I think he's the <laughs> only one we've seen on coverage so far to go long. Probably one of the only players to do that in the tournament. To Maybe. go long. And it wasn't a turning shot. That was a hyzer flip to flat and ride. Yeah. Wow. This looks good as well. It's got a lot more, a lot more height. Oh, I definitely had the height to get there. Just barely clips the ceiling. How about that throw from Vino? I, I can't. I really wish we would have gotten a nice line there from that. Be able to follow it up. Yeah. Did you see Vila even saying, man, that was absurd. Going that left to right shot that Nicholas likes to throw. Can he miss it? Oh. I don't know where he ended up, but at least it was a forward kick. Does say safe, which is good. And you see how close that OB is. Mm -hmm. Low ceiling there, but a lot of spin behind it. Giving a little bit of a bid there from yeah, definitely outside circle two. To have these players all have looks here. I mean, this is what you want to see out of the lead card on one of the last holes here. Good height there, from Jonas. Here's a good putt for Ville. Get up. Oh, had the right height, just a little bit more. I think that, I think at the last second you saw the wind pick it up just a little bit and push it to the right. As we can see there, I believe it says Tester as well. It's a old 400 G D1 from Vino that's a tester disc. That's Good crazy. Well, it's a tester maybe borrowed from a local club. <laughs> I'm sure he's had it for a while. Oh yeah. And Vino for the birdie look on hole 14. Taking his time here, making sure. Great birdie there. 
Yeah, and he was only of one of ten, maybe, to get birdies on this hole. Yeah, out of the entire field. Even for, I mean, that's a lot more than I expected. Just showing the distance and the caliber of players here at the Project Disc Pro I mean, Tour. It's the first one we've seen so far to get all the way past the basket. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm on sure some of, those, yeah, some of those must have been just maybe a long putt. But to go past the basket and shape that fairway to perfection there is is absurd. Yeah. That well was done, Vino. That was absurd. Great, great shot. Pulls him within one of our leader of, with Jonas. Moving on to hole 15, par 3, 354 feet. This is one of the only uphill holes here on the course. You can see a lot of players go for a forehand up the gut here. You just want to make sure you're not short. As you can see, there's that wall of spears there on the right. Definitely blocking some shots. We've seen some highlight putts make it through, but that's definitely the one mistake you can make is sawing off that forehand. This definitely plays more than 354 feet. Yeah, it's going uphill, uphill 400. Yeah, I can see a lot of players maybe throw more of an understable disc up this hill to be able to climb it as it turns. And another textbook throw from Vino. Hit the metal. Wow. Absolute perfection there from Vino Makala. Jonas looking to go to the backhand here. I kind of like this play. If he can get the right height. Mm -hmm. It's a little low, though. And like I talked about, the height. That's the biggest issue here. Not too high, but just perfect. Yeah, and there is OB on that left side the entire way. We see Vila just making sure he has the right grip. Stepping a little bit off the tee pad there on his front foot. Does he get... Wow, but he still had the power to get okay. through. Pushes off that boundary and gets him a look at the basket for the birdie. That's the play, I guess. Step off the tee pad, drill the wall, <laughs> get yourself a birdie putt. We saw in round one here, Nicholas absolutely parked his hole. I think he's and doing he it again. The same. Gosh, what a thing of beauty his backhand oh is. The gosh. control, the touch, it, it really has it all. And this hole's playing just under par at 2.69, which is definitely doable for sure. This, one, this is one you definitely want to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming down the stretch here in that last third of the course. I thought he was a little bit further away for this putt, but... Yeah, doesn't like it out of his hand. hand. A little bit too much height. Yeah. All right, Billy. Get another birdie. I love how he uses his height to his advantage on these putts. He gets a little bit lower. Uses his entire body as he's coming up, but he really releases the disc at the max distance away from his his chest. You got to use your legs. You won't make putts if you don't use your legs. Yeah. You got to use your arms too. It's hard, it's hard to get the disc in there without your arms. No, you just got to use your legs. <laughs> only legs. Only legs. You heard it here first. Only hand, legs. Hand stands putt. only. <laughs> Tap in with your legs. <laughs> Nicholas with the style points birdie. And Vino as well. Pretty common here on hole 15. Three birdies, one par. Yep. Moving on to hole 16, par 3. One of the shorter holes of the tournament. 236 feet. I think this one is just a putter throw. You can either go outside right or where the drone is following in. And you do a little bit of turnover. Hit and crash land on the wood chips there. Yeah, we've seen a lot of players maybe even go to a turnover. Um, forced no, turnover, a forced it's mainly over just backhand. standstills. No one's running up for this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to get too much power on it. You really want to control that speed. We see Vino here take his time. Doesn't like the way it's going. And yeah, a little, little bit too much turn. turn. That's going to be a tough comeback. Yeah, if he even has a look there through those trees. That's really the first player here on coverage we've seen filter all the way down, but it's definitely a common miss. Mm -hmm. A little too much height, you're not going to find it. It was a little too much turn, too. Mm -hmm. Except glow PA3. Yeah. There's Vlay throwing what I believe to be an Envy. Yep. Find himself wrong. up there, yep. 
Great touch. Just scooting it up on those wood chips. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you want to do. I don't know if this was a thrown shot. Yep. You see Niklas here really using the left side of that fairway to give himself a bigger a full flex gap. flight. Mm -hmm. Oh, just catching the last one. Very interesting approach here as he throws most of those kind of understable discs for him to turn the you know that on his head and throw a force over here. Yeah. Jonas going to the PA3, the baseline plastic, making sure he's going to get that grip. Probably a little bit more beat in. Sit. Leaked a little bit left. We'll have an obstructed putt. See Vino just having to stretch out and oh, hopefully down. that sits. Not still what he really a, wanted. Yeah, still not an easy par putt there for Vino. We've seen this putt hit before. Yes, we have. It's a really up to down because he's further back. Mm -hmm. Just a bit low there from Jonas Alto. It's a good bit though. Not much of a death putt, but still can get your nerves going. Great putt there from Vile. Yeah, you can hear him whistling <laughs> like, shoo! It's like, oh, I made it. Good call, solid putt for the par. And we did have an ace here on hole 16, Mr. Vetti Vainanen. I would have loved to see that. Yeah, I'm sure it was probably on that right side gap, maybe a flex line. But shout out to you, man. That was a phenomenal ace here. Definitely the one to get. Heck yeah. Shortest one of the day. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there's some kind of payout in the pro tour. <laughs> there might be. Moving on to 17, though. As we find ourselves on hole 17, the penultimate hole of this tournament, a par four, 640 feet, very much a left to right moving tee shot. You want to land as close as you can here to the edge of this first green, and then you're going to find yourself on an island green. A lot of room there on the right if you need to throw a forehand or maybe you're a little bit pinched off. We see a lot of players throw a big turnover backhand. If you have the forehand distance, it's definitely a great play, but the ideal shot here is to get as close as you can to make that upshot shorter. I wonder what the wind's doing now in this round because... Round two is pushing them way right. Mm -hmm. And we saw a couple players go out of bounds right. A huge drive. Gosh. From Vile. Vina with a little bit more turn. Still max distance. Mm -hmm. Definitely pushing that 450 feet. There's one hole. This hole reminds me of one at Chattahoochee Point back here in Georgia. Um, hole three or hole two. Mm -hmm. It definitely has that feel to it of you really need to make sure you can. It's that max that distance turnover. of Anheuser. You could do forehand, but it's super hard and you got to really push it out there into that field. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, there's no OB. So. It's hole 10. No. Hole two. Oh, you're right. Chat. Mm -hmm. Getting yourself in a good spot. These are some great pulls from these guys. This one looks yeah, a little bit too right. Get that down. Can have if the it stability. can get down. Yes, it does. Wow. That got over quick. Mm -hmm. Four really solid drives here. Going with a standstill putter from Vino. See if he can make the island. Yeah, right at this moment, tied with Jonas Alto. That needs to get down. Great yeah. speed control. A little bit of a longer putt he's going to have for birdie. That's when the nerves really settle in, is these simple up shots down the stretch.
that is a great pull. A little mm-hmm. bit long. Going to have a kind of a death putt, maybe? Yeah, similar distance there to Vino, but definitely looking more at the out-of-bounds. If he were to catch the top of the basket or have a little bit of a roll. Yeah. Really with an absolute smash, could nearly jump putt it onto the green. Yeah, he's going to have a, a very easy birdie look. Mm-hmm. Nicholas as well. Yeah, that was a great throw from him. Going with the forehand. Yeah, being forehand on the right mid-range. side, maybe have a little bit more space here. I mean, yeah, play with the right side and play with what you have that's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. A little skip there. Nothing wrong with that. We'll have a tester for a comeback for sure. Yeah, knowing that he was a little bit far to the right and there's more room on the right of the screen, it's a good choice to go to the forehand there at the chance it were to fade out or maybe catch a roll. I like the pin placement here because mm-hmm. it really makes you, if you want to play safe, you're right, but then you also have a tester coming back and you have Toby right behind. Right. What a putt there good from solid Bino. Putt from Bino. Puts the pressure on everyone else in the green, especially to Jonas, who has a very similar he distance. Was just on the edge of circle one. Mm hmm. Such a confident putt there. Yeah. Matching. And we have a tie ball game going into the final hole. And Vile taps in his birdie as well. Be at par here for Mr. Antola. Let's go to the last hole, Hayden. Last hole, buddy. Hole 18, par 3, 371 feet, and this one is no gimme. Mm -mm. OB everywhere, pretty much, and we saw that on round two that the wind picked up a couple players' disc. Really just want to go with a big forehand and try to play and use the ground play to skip it up near the basket. Yeah, we've seen players even just completely pull a forehand over on the left, just trying to get that max distance. See Vile with the backhand here, trying to get as much as he can, it might fade out just a little bit too quick. Yeah, he had the same mistake on round three. Yep. It was a right line for a while, and then it just somehow just kind of flexed out just a touch. Vino and Jonas being tied going into this final hole. I'll get back. Look. Get back. I think he's playing safe, and that was really his only goal. Yeah, a little bit of a safer shot. Mid-circle two there, but puts the pressure on Jonas to throw a safe shot as well. You're going with the backhand here. I think it's risky with the backhand, honestly. But if you can get it and it pay off, then why not? Mm -hmm. And maybe that's what he, what he's thinking. Oh, get up. Maybe get down. <sighs> oh no! Can't really throw a much more perfect angle. Yeah, you can see the frustration there. I mean, you can't throw a much more perfect. That angle. was perfect. Just hitting that hard packed dirt instead of the grass there. Oh my gosh. I mean, it puts the pressure still on both of them because Vino has to make a putt. Yeah, but Vino can lay up for the win here. Exactly. This Although Jonas great. not having too far of a putt. That's a great shot there from Niklas. Yeah. Yeah, still inside the circle. Maybe circle's edge there for Jonas to be able to make yeah. the par. So still some pressure on Vino. I think I just put it up on onto that elevated basket, and that's it. I just get as close as possible, and not have to worry. about Rare it. miss there from Vile. I think you see the, that wind really coming in. The wind pushed it up underneath, really nose down or nose up. I think Vino goes for it. Nope. Like nope. I said, just sits it there. No worry in the world. He knows he's putting the pressure on. Jonas. And Jonas has to hit this putt to tie. Nicholas for birdie. Mm. That looked like a solid stroke. It did. It's a tie. <gasps> Just short. No. It's so unfortunate. He was playing so good, too. Yeah, the nerves definitely found Jonas there at the end. 
unfortunate finish there. But this is the first stop of the Prodigy Disc yeah. Pro Tour. We assume to to see him in many more of these. Good finish from Nicholas. Yeah, it's it's hard to watch. We've all you know felt that that pressure and that pain at the very end of a tournament. It comes down to one putt, and other things start rushing through your head. If I could have done this one thing right or this thing different, uh, but still a great finish there from Jonas. Another bogey for Ville. Vino taking the the win with a par. Yep. Vino Makula, your winner here at the first stop of the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour in Tali. I think he had like a really rough start at the beginning, but really found it at yep. the end there. I mean, he only had one bogey. I wouldn't say it's much of a rough start. No, but, but I mean, you know he it, wants yeah. those first four to mm -hmm. give him more of a chance for a birdie. Oh, we actually do have a tie here with Lori. Oh, so we have a Vino. playoff. I believe we will go to a playoff here between the two players. You can see the tournament director here talking through what the order of holes is going to be until we have a winner. I stand corrected. We do not have a winner yet. Mm -hmm. I was unaware of that. Pelataan ne ratkaisupelit, niin väylillä 11, 12, 13, 14 ja 17. Ja sitten tullaan takas tähän, jos on tarve ylipäätänsä ja voidaan aloittaa. Just making sure they all know the rules here in the order of holes. Unsure of what hole they're on here. Are they going to replay? Get over. Yeah. I believe this is hole 13. Vino going to that glow PA3 he's leaned on for so long. Looks to be a great height. This wow. Might be a push. Good camaraderie there between the players. This is a surprise for Hayden and I. We did not know this was going to a playoff. What a way to, to finish out the first stop here of this tour. But the pressure there on Vino is Lori. Here's Vino for the comeback to tie and push it. I think this is an easy stroke for him. The pressure's on, though. I mean, this is a putt he's made many, many times. Yep. There you go. You're going to push to the next hole. And here's Vinyl Makala with his drive here. Looks to be hole 14. Spike Heiser here over the top. Sorry, this is hole 12, I believe. Oh, that's perfect. That's the best drive we've seen on this hole so far. We apologize for not knowing exactly what holes they're playing in this playoff. This is hole 12. Yeah, it does say hole 12 there. Big hyzer shot over the tree. Yeah, we'll see Vino putting it inside the circle, just short left. Definitely some pressure on here. Really cutting the corner. There's Lowry. Oh. oh, and he finds the out of bounds. That's an unfortunate bounce off the ground there. Yeah, it really was more of a bounce than it was anything else. Yeah. And he sees the red flag now. Yeah, and he knows. Because he knew, he, I mean, I would say that was a great shot out of the hand, and you just pack up and start walking. Yep. So unfortunate there. So this is for his par here. And you can see Vino's disc there. He's already laid up. Yep. 
Yeah, Vino was just... I guess we had missed his layup shot. It's a good play there for Vino. Putting the pressure on. Wow. Great putt. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was not a disc. It was a thing on the ground. So we're now getting to Vino's drive for the win. My apologies there, guys. Yes, really taking Vino his time. Macklin, taking his time, hyping everybody up. Your 2021 Prodigy Disc Pro Tour Tali champion, Vino Makala. What a finish here from Laurie. Unexpected playoff. Jumping from the second card to force it with Vino. That's an unfortunate bounce. That disc mm -hmm. really took a bounce. Yeah. Yeah, that shows how hard compacted this ground is. Yeah. We saw it the entire weekend just seeing this, this course really show its teeth with the way the ground did, the way it was, how important it was to match the angle. And Vino did that consistently to find himself at the top of the leaderboard here after the final hole. And this, is, this was his first tournament of the year. Wow. We can see Lori there and also Jonas on the podium. Great finish there from Jonas. There's a great push from Vino at the end there. Mm -hmm. Stay yeah. clean, one bogey, but was able to capitalize on the end there. Yep. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the first stop at the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour. We have three more stops. I'm excited. Hey, yeah, this gonna is going to be fun. Live it with you. Thank you guys for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe here at Gatekeeper Media. Thank you again to Natural Born Disc Golf for this incredible coverage here in Finland. Bring it here to the States. My name is Mitch. Joining me has been Hayden. And we are the hosts of Parked Podcast. Excited to bring you the rest of this Pro Tour coverage in Finland. We see some highlight putts here from your champion, Vino Makala. But I'm sure it's not going to be the last time we see him on this tour. I don't think so either. I think we'll see him again. And there's your final putt there again, just reliving it, soaking it in. Again, being his first tournament of the year he had played, what a way to finish it out. We will see you for the next stop on the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour here in Finland.